Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the flywheel on your engine, make sure the engine has cooled. The ignition switch is in the off position and the key has been removed, if applicable. If necessary, disconnect the headlight wire harness. Then lift up the hood or engine cover and detach it. Now rotate the air filter cover retaining knobs counterclockwise and pull off the cover. Lift out the air filter. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw inside the filter housing. Now use a 3 8 inch socket or wrench to unthread the four blower housing mounting bolts. Detach the oil drain tube and lift off the blower housing. Use a flathead screwdriver to help pry off the screen assembly cap. Next, use a pipe wrench to secure the drive pulley and a 15 16 inch socket to unthread the flywheel mounting bolt. Remove the bolt and lift off the screen assembly and washer. Lift off the flywheel fan. Rethread the bolt and use a flywheel puller to help detach the flywheel. Unthread the bolt and lift off the old flywheel. You're now ready to install the new flywheel. Aligning the notch in the flywheel with the sod in the crankshaft, position the new flywheel. Now insert the flywheel key into the slot and push it into place. Realign the flywheel fan. Replace the screen assembly. Make sure the washer is in place, then rethread the flywheel mounting bolt. Torque the bolt to 100 foot-pounds. Snap the cap into place. Reposition the blower housing. Make sure the housing is properly seated on the air diverter. Rethread and tighten the mounting bolts to secure the housing. The longer bolts go in the back. Replace the screw in the filter housing. Reposition the air filter. Realign the cover and rotate the retaining knobs clockwise to secure. Reattach the oil drain tube to the blower housing. Reinstall the hood or engine cover. And reconnect the headlight wire harness if applicable.